What is up, viewers, and welcome back to Planet Cryos. What is XMP or DOCP and how to enable it? Well, here you can see we're back at the desk, and the reason being is a couple videos ago, I built my white and black build that you can see right here, and I did not show you how to enable XMP. XMP stands for Extreme Memory Profile. Uh, that is Intel's version, AMD's version is DOCP, which stands for Direct Overclock Profile. And basically what it means is the um, RAM or the memory that you purchase might say uh, 32 megahertz or 4,000 megahertz, 4,600 megahertz. And it will run at that speed if you enable it in your BIOS. And otherwise what it's going to do is just run at the standard speed which is uh, 2133, which is just a standard, industry standard, and that's what they set it to. I don't know quite why, um, but yeah, so I never showed you how to enable it. It's very simple. There's a couple ways of going about doing it, and what I want to do is just take you for the ride and just show you. When you go into your BIOS, uh, generally speaking, you're going <clears> to <throat> shut down your computer. There's two ways to do it, really, but shut down your computer um and then or reboot it and <clears throat> go ahead when it's rebooting hit that delete key usually uh sometimes it tells you on the screen i know the asus motherboards it's uh heat hit the delete key repeatedly uh to enter the bios or the ufvi uh that's what you're going to want to do is get into your bios and from there you're going to want to look for your xmp profile or the ai tweaker uh, if you're in the advanced mode, usually the easy mode type thing with a lot of uh, modern mother motherboards is going to have the easy mode. And usually within that, you're going to see XMP or DOCP. If not, go to your advanced mode, look for like AI tweaker and uh, look for those options within uh, your memory settings. And what XMP or DOCP is going to do is it's going to bump up that speed to the advertised speed generally. Uh, there are a few exceptions, uh, you know, maybe your CPU uh, and or your motherboard cannot support the max speeds that's advertised, but it, it should. Um, uh, but do know that it, it's not, the XMP, let me back up a little bit, the XMP is also going to, so it's gonna, it's gonna run at that advertised speed now. So for instance, we put in, um, 32 megahertz kit uh, that's on the uh, RAM that I purchased for the white and black build and what that's going to do is increase that speed, uh, tweak some of the uh, voltages slightly and some of the timings uh, possibly. So this is all supposed to be uh, safe from Intel. Now it does quote unquote void your warranty. I don't know why because Intel created it. They advertise it. They also, you know, advertise this on the ramp. So it's really weird. But if you want to do your own research about that and if it voids warranty, if you're not comfortable with doing it, then don't do it. Uh, generally speaking, you don't always need this. Uh, AMD really benefits from it. Uh, Intel slightly. Uh, but... Anyway, um, that is what it's going to do. It also, uh, I need to add that it does tweak slightly your CPU. Uh, a lot of people are going to tell you that it doesn't, but I'm telling you that it does. Uh, just slightly. Do your own research. Uh, search some other stuff. I'm not going to go over all the extreme details. But do your own research. It's going to tweak the CPU slightly it's going to um put a slight overclock on that and if you're not you know cooling your system properly uh this could affect it now if you're you know if you're an extreme gamer or a uh, content creator or something i mean i 
I am sort of a content creator, but I'm not doing it on that PC. So, and I do lighter games. I'm not into heavy games. So we should be perfectly fine. If not, you know what? There's other cooler options out there uh, to cool a little bit better if I really need to. So with that all said, let's get over and I'm going to get into the BIOS. I'm not going to show you how to do that, but I kind of told you how to do it. So get into your BIOS and, you know, again, do this at your own discretion. Uh, it's meant to happen, but if you're not a computer tech and you don't know how to work on your own system, don't start messing around in the BIOS and changing settings uh, unless you're willing to deal with the consequences. You can always reset your BIOS, uh, you know, but if you're scared about it, it's your only PC, maybe it's not a good idea. Maybe, uh, you know, build, build yourself another one and try it on that one. So anyway, with that all said, let's get over to the BIOS and let me show you how it is done now when you get into your bios you should see something similar to this now we're what's called in the easy mode and the easy mode is defined up there it just says ez mode uh another way you can tell kind of is down here it says advanced you can push f7 or use your mouse um to click on the f7 so when you're in easy mode, what you're going to see up here uh, or somewhere on this page is what kind of memory you have. So I have DDR4 and it's 3200 megahertz. That's the potential of the RAM. And I have 32 megabytes or 32, excuse me, 32 gigabytes installed. And right down here it will tell you what the standard that it runs at is 2133. So when you put in new RAM, this is what it's always gonna run at before you enable XMP. And right down here, you can obviously see it says XMP. Now mine is enabled. It's just a simple drop-down box and you can enable it or disable it. That's it, it's that simple and after you're done when you select enable okay it's not going on this page it's not really going to tell you what it actually is running at but it, it should run at these specify speeds right here okay that's what it should be running at so what you want to do is just go ahead and come down on the bottom if you have an asus just click the save and exit and the PC is going to reboot um, once or twice to enable um, the uh, new RAM uh, speeds and times and all that. Here's the other thing is right here where it says XMP. Sorry, I'm trying to do this freehanded. Where it says XMP, you might see that it might say uh, DOCP and that's for AMD. All right, so now what I wanna show you is down uh, somewhere on your page you should have advanced mode so click on the advanced mode i'm going to show you a different way on how to do this and then look for something like ai tweaker or overclocking or something like that so uh, we're on ai tweaker right now up at the top there and if you scroll down you'll see ai overclock tuner so get that mouse out of the way so you see ai overclock tuner if we follow that all the way over it says xmp1 and what that stands for the one stands for a profile so it's profile one so extreme memory profile number one and what you'll see is if you have a drop you have the drop down box is you can put in an auto manual or you can have a profile too some um ram actually supports two profiles so you can you know, see what the other profile uh, offers, if it even does. And, um, you know, you can go from there. But we're going to keep it on uh, profile number one. And after you click on your selection, you know, you click, you know, you want profile one, then you come up to your exit, and then you can go save Oop, let's get over here where you can see it save changes and reset and that's what you're going to want to do now if there is something that you mess up you can always come and load optimize defaults uh, that is the way to do it through the actual bios if you're having issues maybe blue screening or something like that the other way is on the actual motherboard 
I want to also reiterate this again by saying if you mess up or you don't like it or you you decided you don't want it or for whatever reason or maybe you're getting blue screens or uh, PC crashes after this something if that happens go ahead and try to get back in your BIOS and uh, load the optimized default settings uh, right there which is what you saw uh, the one of the first options there under uh, when you click on exit and you do the save and exit uh, right above that should be like load optimized defaults if for some reason you can't get back into the BIOS if it just won't go you can do what's called a BIOS reset on the actual motherboard usually you have a couple of pins that you can cross sometimes they come with a, a little jumper uh, you want to go ahead and jump those two pins refer to your manual it'll probably show you in there you can jump the two pins and usually you want to keep them jumped for about 15 to 20 seconds to uh, to reset the BIOS uh, the other option with higher end motherboards it does have a clear uh, CMOS uh, on the usually like a button either on the motherboard itself um you know where all the components are or sometimes on the back of the io uh port you might have a button where you plug in your usb uh, um, uh sticks and and your uh you know hdmi cable or display port cable all that stuff on the back there there might be a button on the higher end uh motherboards i know my two motherboards do have them um so anyway with that said that is how you enable or turn on your xmp or your docp on your motherboard so you can support your higher speed ram and get those speeds on you want to go fast and crazy well that's how you do it uh anyway uh you know most people actually don't need it so but i'm just telling you how to do it all right so i'm going to give you guys like a little bonus material here or it's just kind of like uh, not really bonus material but a little extra info on how to tell and make sure that your RAM profile now is running at the specified value. So what you're going to do is download what's called CPU-Z. And I'll probably do a separate video on just that and how that can help you out. But go ahead and download that and open it up. And then click on your 64.exe. Uh, Open that. And up on top here, you can see where it says memory. So you want to click on that. And then what you can see here is that the DRAM frequency says 1600. And you're like, well, that's not. 3200 well essentially it is because they i don't i don't quite know how to describe this but they the way that this works is they just um it's it's like a it's like a channel it's not or not channel um i can't think of the word but essentially what you have to do is you have to double whatever it's reading right there so um and what i'll do is i'll prove this to you by because it, it because it's dual not dual channel but it, it's the, the 1600 has to be doubled um there's a reason behind it i'm not fully aware of why they exactly do this but that's what they do and i'm going to prove it to you on my other computer because my other computer uh has um i believe 3200 megahertz in it also but xmp is not enabled so this 1600 is going to effectively be like a thousand something so it's going to be half of 2133 and i'll prove that to you in just a flash of an eye here all right so as you can see this is my other computer because it's got the logo and i have cpu z uh, all set up on here actually, i actually went to the other screen so you're going to click on the uh, 64.exe 64 just means it's the 64 bit system um, versus the 32 uh, bit system which is the older systems uh, primarily so we're going to open this and now all of a sudden it's opening on this side again 
<laughs> Dual screens messing me all up. All right. Uh, this just means there's another version available. That's all. Um, I'll do that later on. And we go back up to memory. And you can see right here that my RAM frequency is 1,065, 1,066, which is effectively half of 2133. So XMP is not enabled on this PC, and that's why you see the uh, the comparison, uh, you know, the 1600 versus uh, the 1066. So 1600 doubled is 3200 megahertz and 1066 doubled is 2133 um, uh, megahertz so that is the uh, proof in the pudding right there so that is it guys that's all i have for you but i do want to go ahead and mention uh you know go ahead and download that cpu z um, for additional information you might want to know about your motherboard, what BIOS version you have without going into the BIOS and some other motherboard information, your CPU information. Um, th there's a whole bunch of information within that uh, that you can tell. Another good one is GPU-Z. That will give you your uh, graphics card information. So that's another useful one. But as you can see, uh, the proof in the pudding was going between the two computers and showing you that basically it's doubling the frequency. Whatever it says there, it's got to double it. And I wish I knew or understood that better. I probably should have done more research, but uh, that's okay. You know, I, I just, like I said, I do all this for fun. I just, just do it for fun. Uh, I don't need to understand everything that's out there. I know how to work on them. I can fix them. Um, but to understand that, that those little nuanced things of why and why, 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 uh, just doesn't always matter to me. So go ahead and do your own research on that if you really feel you want to know more about that. But anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, share the content and comment down below. Uh, if you wish, uh, maybe I can answer uh, any additional questions uh, other than why that frequency is the way it, 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 it represents in there and that you have to double it. So until next time, guys, take care.